Doris the Spy is the 10th episode of the third season of the Doris Day Show, and based purely on the brief description, I didn't think I'd love this as much as I did, but I really thoroughly enjoyed it. There's only one thing about it, one teeny tiny thing, that kind of irritated me. And I will explain what I mean by that. It's not a tremendous spoiler, but there will probably be some spoilers from now. And it starts off with Doris arriving at the airport after a business trip. And in her hurry, she picks up the wrong case. And when she gets home, she realizes that there's some weird government sounding documents inside. We, the viewer, know that she accidentally picked up a suitcase that has some top secret government documents in them. And the suitcase, or the the attache case rather, had a tracking device in it. So the government officials were actually able to track that case to her house. And when they get there, they're not convinced that she's just Doris Martin. They think it's an alias and they think that she switched the cases with her own on purpose. And one of the uh, government agents has to stay with her, a character called Fleming, played by John MacGyver, a really brilliant character um, who's sometimes not the smartest, but also is very, very funny. And, well, Doris isn't happy about this, to say the least, and Fleming has to stay with her 24-7 while the government are doing some background checks to confirm that Doris is who she says she is and that she didn't switch the cases on purpose. Even me describing it, it doesn't sound like a narrative that I'd like very much, but it's really, really entertaining. And I think that's largely because of, well, two reasons. One, the way that Doris reacts to the whole situation, but also the character of Fleming. I thought Fleming uh, was really delightful. I also particularly liked Mrs. McDougall, played by Estelle Winwood. She's only in it very briefly, but I thought she was pretty brilliant. And I thought it was a, a really entertaining narrative, and I had a lot of fun with it. The only thing I didn't like, and I'm slightly baffled by this, and all I can think of is maybe they they put something in it, but it didn't make the final cut. But one of the government officials is called Nelson. Uh, it's a character played by John Kroger. He doesn't have a huge role in it, but he's in it enough that the character is named a few times. But Doris's dog is called Nelson, and none of the characters seem to flinch when the other side, the other party, if you like, referred to Nelson, whichever Nelson they were talking to. And I just don't understand why you'd name a character the same name as Doris's dog if you're not going to make a joke out of it or point to it in some way. So I can, as I said, only assume that that was intended, but obviously when the episode was being edited, maybe they decided to move that uh, or, or cut that out. But I, if that's not the case, I am baffled why you'd name one of the characters the same as the dog. Maybe we were encouraged as, as viewers to make our own jokes about it, but I was waiting. Every time somebody said Nelson, I was waiting. And actually, Nelson the dog had a relatively... Well, maybe not prominent role, but he was in it quite a bit and Doris took him for a walk and Fleming spent time around Nelson the dog. So I was I was waiting for somebody to say something and it just never happened. So I don't know, maybe, maybe they were going to otherwise. It's a bit strange. But that aside, I found it to be a really entertaining episode and completely exceeded my expectations. And I, I think it's one that I'd be very happy to watch again. Doris the Spy is a pretty great episode of the Doris Day Show.